Thinking subsides, if only for a moment, and you can sense the beingness that is always there underneath it, the timeless presence, you can you sense that. Is that, and then as you can sense that, and you, you become more rooted in it, even in your daily life, you begin to be able to sense that in the background through the simple fact that, that you are aware that you are aware. Even when you're doing things, you're aware that you're aware. When you're looking at something, there's not only what you're looking at, there's only the awareness that you're aware of. It's the emanation of God. In, this, in other words, the consciousness that inhabits you and temporarily disguises itself as a person is an emanation of the source of all life. And that source which cannot be named, which does not exist, because exist means to have a location in space and time. Everything exists is somewhere. <laughs> so in that sense, God does not exist, because God does not have a... God is <coughs> beyond this dimension where existence unfolds. But like the sun emanating light, God or the source of all life, which cannot be named or understood at all, emanates consciousness into this dimension. And gradually this dimension evolves. Gradually it expresses more of that light. So there's a, there's a source of all life beyond the transcendent source, which is God. The, the light of the sun, you can feel it on your skin. Now, whether you say this is the sun, <laughs> in some sense, the light of the sun is the sun because there's no separation. But in another sense, the sun is uh, not different, but infinitely faster than the light that you feel on your skin. Uh, in the same way that the emanation of God, which is consciousness, Yes, it's God in the sense of it is an emanation of God. And so this is what you are. You're an emanation from source, source emanation. And the, the consciousness in you is the light. As Jesus said to his disciples, but he meant really every human being because his disciples were not that special. You are the light of the world, he said. And he said it of himself in another gospel. He said, I am the light of the world. He said both things. He told others, you are the light of the world. And he said, I am the light of the world. The, world, the light in you is the consciousness in you. And, and without the consciousness, you are the consciousness of the world. You are the light of the world. Without the consciousness, the world would not even be. And that is when you realize that, that your essential identity is being consciousness, which is an emanation of source, whatever you want to call that. And your essential identity is that, the being. Then that is where you derive your sense of identity from, who you are. It's no longer the memory of your past it becomes relatively insignificant. Yes, you remember it, but the wonderful thing about your past, it has brought you to this point of awakening. No matter how senseless it seemed at the time, because every life is kind of messy in, in, in one way or another, and many things seem, why did this happen to me? Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Or, or why did th this have to happen to me? My childhood c could have been happy. It was so unhappy. Why did this? But all your past did, it brings you to this point of awakening. So it fulfilled its function but it no longer gives you an identity. You, you recognize it, it's, you acknowledge it, you know it, but you no longer derive your sense of who you are from your past. That comes from a deeper place. Ah, the, you can sense the, the presence that you are, the being that you are, not conditioned by your past whatsoever. And this is especially liberating if you have a very heavy past, if, you, if dreadful things happened in your past, it is especially liberating to sense that. And it's often people who have had a very difficult life that come to this realization.